I'm Lauren Steffi with the Houston Chronicle and welcome to another edition of Friday Bookshelf. Today I'm going to be talking about Bull by the Horns, a book written by former FDIC Chairman Sheila Baer. The FDIC, of course, is the government agency that insures bank deposits and takes over banks when they fail. They were at the center of the financial crisis and the bailout response, and Sheila Baer was in the room at most of the high-level meetings. One of the things I really liked about this book is that it has a very conversational tone to it. A lot of the book reads as if you were sitting down with Sheila Bear over coffee and she was telling you about what happened. Uh, but she was in all the high-level meetings with the big banks. She's there right from the beginning when Henry Paulson, who was then the, the Treasury Secretary, tells the nation's largest banks that they have to accept the bailout money. Um, but she also gives a, a first-hand account of her battle with other financial regulators in how to respond to the bailout and how to work through the crisis as it, as it moves forward. This book is not an autobiography. Baird does a good job of telling you just enough about herself to understand where she's coming from, and you really get a sense of why she was such an advocate for the consumer. The other thing that I think readers will find very helpful is that she lays out a checklist for what needs to be done in order to make sure that another crisis doesn't happen. She gives a very critical assessment of the Dodd-Frank reform law, for example. While there's certain things that she thinks the law does well, there's a lot of things that, that it uh, doesn't do well, where it comes up short. And she provides a very thorough checklist of what needs to be done in the future to protect consumer interests and to make sure the system doesn't fail again. I thought that was another interesting aspect of Bear's uh, analysis. Much of the book uh, is sort of a, a pondering of some of these bigger problems. And one of the things she notes is that while she was very proud of the fact that they had managed to put together a bailout, however distasteful it was, and she makes it very clear she doesn't like bailouts, but while she was glad that they were able to prevent the economy from collapsing, she also wonders if the financial system as it existed was worth saving. Did we do ourselves a favor by preserving many of the same problems that led to the crisis in the first place? And finally, her last chapter is entitled, It Could Have Been Different. And in that, she reflects on what regulators and Wall Street itself might have done to avert the crisis. And her conclusion is that really, there were some very obvious common sense things that could have been done, such as requiring banks to raise their capital requirements, or raising the capital requirements on banks prior to the crisis, when times were good. Uh, but she also notes that no one in the industry nor on the regulatory side would have thought of doing something like that or would have wanted to do something like that uh, because there was no sign of a crisis. And so uh, she really puts a, a, a good uh, sort of insightful analysis on all of this. Obviously, she has her biases. She has her grudges. Uh, but, but the book doesn't pull any punches. And uh, I think that uh, Bear deserves a lot of credit for coming up with a very readable narrative that uh, I think most average readers will find very easy to understand. Of all the books on the financial crisis, I can't say that I've read them all, but I've read a number of them, and I think this is the most readable and the most engaging. So if you're going to read one book about what happened, I'd recommend Bull by the Horns by Sheila Bear. For the Houston Chronicle, I'm Lauren Steffi.